This is a follow-up on my video on how to make my Y8 Sino work with my Eason scales. The problem turned out to be the Eason scales have pin 4 on the DB9 connector connected to the shield of the cable which causes a ground. Inside the Y8 Sino the pin 4 is connected directly to the phase B signal which is pin 8 and when you plug in a ordinary Chinese scale that has the pin 4 grounded then this DRO won't work. Well this DRO is actually made by a company called AI Cron or AI AI K R O N and that is printed on the circuit board inside and they offer a version of this identical scale that has the connector wired properly for ordinary Chinese scales. So apparently they OEM it to Y8 Sino. Y8 Sino puts their own name sticker on it and apparently they have a modification put in to make it not work with ordinary Chinese scales. Y8 Sino sells their own scales and presumably if you buy their scales and their DRO it will all work together. It just won't work if you buy ordinary Chinese scales. So in the previous video I showed a modification to the scale where I removed the ground from pin 4 in the DB9 connector and that made it all work and you can see it working here. I'm uh, cranking the uh, x-axis, the cross slide, and uh, moving the z-axis, which is the saddle, and it's all working properly, and I've done this by modifying the connector from the scale. Well, it seems to me that the, really the DRO should be modified and inside the DRO there's a little circuit board that you can open up and it deliberately wires pin 4 which is ground normal Chinese scales it wires that directly to pin 8 which is phase B of the the digital signal from the scale so if you do that it won't work so I thought rather than modifying the scales what I should really do is modify the DRO and that is what I've done. So this is just a follow-up video that shows probably the, the, the best way to, to modify this. So here's I have some Ditron scales and they this is how they're wired and you can see pin 4 is listed as shield which makes it a ground and I have one of their scales right here this is a, a Ditron scale and I have not modified the connector on this so I will change the connector from the Eason scale and I will plug in this uh, Ditron scale and you can see when I move the the read head, the DRO reads it properly. And I have not modified this Ditron scale. And so really the best way to make this all work is to modify the, the Y8 Sino. And that's what I've done. And uh, this is just an addendum, a um, follow-up video to show really the best way of fixing this problem. I'm going to show you a, a better way of modifying the white Sino DRO rather than modifying the cables in the Eason scales. This entails the same fix, which is to remove the ground from pin 4, but the scales are actually made properly and the Y8 Sino has this little thing in it so that it will work only with their own scales and this is a, a modification that you can do to the Y8 Sino display that solves the problem. And if you'll notice the 
the DB9 connectors go to a little circuit board that then connects to the ribbon cables that then connect to the board. I've removed most of the ribbon cables, but I have the one for the X axes, which I have modified, and that fix that I'm going to do works. So I will remove the next cable and show you what the, the fix looks like. This is one of the cables that connects the DB9 connector that is exposed on the back to the internal connector, which is a six pin connector here. And you notice there's a, a little circuit board covered under shrink wrap tubing. And I will pull the tubing back and cut one of the traces. It's actually the, the trace that goes to pin four, and that will remove the ground and everything will work okay then. I have slid the uh, heat shrink tubing back over the little circuit board and this is what we're working with here. You can see the traces uh, connect the DB9 connector to the ribbon cable and that's the back side. There isn't any anything to unsolder or jumpers to move However, the ground, I have partially slit the shrink wrap tubing and with that you can slide it back off the board. You only have to cut it about halfway, just where it's over the cable and will slide off the board and that lets you put it back on. And you can see here, this is counting in one, two, three, and four, and that's the trace I'm going to cut. It's important to cut the trace near the DB9 connector because if you'll notice there's a little feed through and that goes through to the other side and that connects to pin 8 and pin 8 is phase B and it's this short from pin 4 that connects to phase B that causes the problem. So I'm going to take a little X-Acto knife and cut this trace right near the DB9 pin 4 and then I can slide the uh, heat shrink back on and I'll be good to go. Then it'll work with any scale. I won't have to modify the scales. I only have to go through and modify the cables here and it will be a universal DRO at that point. Okay, now I've cut the trace on pin 4. See, one, two, three, four, and there's the little cut I made across the trace. And it is on the DB9 side of that little feed through that you must not cut. So just right there, and then I can slide the, the heat shrink back over the circuit board and reinstall it. And it will be good to go and work with any Chinese scale that has this pin pattern. Uh, some Chinese scales have different pin patterns, but the one that I showed in the previous video that is like this will work with the white Sino DRO.